All right, I'm gonna wait for more people to come in. Because I wanted to really tell y'all this story. I want y'all to really, I want y'all to really listen to me. I want y'all to tell me. I want y'all to tell. <laughs> for real, I want y'all to listen to me. I gotta tell y'all something. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you. So, I'm mad fat right now. Nah, not fat, but like hungry fat. All right, so listen, let me tell y'all how God works. I had a friend, right, that I used to always tell us how you found out. I've been new. This was planned. My pregnancy was planned. So that's something that I've been new. I just been hiding it from y'all. But um, so let me tell y'all my story. Stop interrupting. Let me tell y'all my story. So I had a friend. Let me tell y'all how God works. I had a friend. Yeah, I'm really pregnant. Like. But I'm little, like, I'm seven months, I'm really pregnant, <laughs> like, my belly button, like, you see, I'm really pregnant, I'm just not fat. <sighs> okay, let me tell y'all the story. So I had a friend, right, and this was really, like, my close friend, and I fucked with her hard, she was going through, like, a DV situation, right, and... I got her up out the situation. We went, you feel me? Long story short, we went to the nigga house. I picked her up. And long story short, we beat the nigga up. You feel me? We jumped him. He basically caught the cops. We got locked up. And, um, he got locked up. We got locked up. And then we built out and whatnot. I had her living with me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interrupted me. I had her live. Thank you. I had her living with me, right? And I'm like, yo, you know what? Don't worry. You could just live here, you know, until you get off your feet. Blah blah blah. And when you um, I, okay, so y'all comments is blowing minds because y'all keep saying dumb shit. Like it's a girl. So y'all all know I'm blood, right? So if it was a girl, let's put two and two together now, right? Let's use our brain. If it was a girl, why would I take flowers? Why would I take pictures on a blue flowers? If it was a girl. Like, let's just make sense right now. Like, let, let's let's think about it. I'm blood, and I'm going to take pictures on blue flowers. If it was a girl. Think, think, think now. Think, please. Stop interrupting me, please. I'm not going to even read the comments no more, because y'all blowing minds. All right, so I had this homegirl. The bitch ended up living with me. I was helping her, her, her daughter, you feel me? I was basically holding it down, real friendship, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, she started fucking with this nigga. I'm not going to say the nigga name. So she, started, she was trying to fuck with this nigga. And she was telling the nigga mad shit about me, like, oh, she be leaving her money around, and I be taking $50 from it. Oh, she got cameras. I could tell you the code for the cameras for her alarm system. Like, just telling her, telling mad crazy shit, right? And I was just like, he called my phone and he told me, like, yo, why this bitch just told me this, this, and this? She didn't know that the nigga was going to come back and tell me what she was saying. So, basically, bitch, you was trying to line my crib. But I had so much love for this girl that I couldn't see myself beat her up. Listen, let me tell y'all how God works. I couldn't see myself beat her up, right? So I just kicked her out. Like, yo, bro, get out of my crib. You can't live here, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, this is a person that I really went to bat for. Like, I done went to jail for her. I done sat here and beat bitches up for her. I done got jumped for her. I done gave her the, the, the back clothes off my back. You feel me? Like, for her and for her kid on some shit. I really had so much love for this girl. I knew this girl for a couple of years. I had so much love for this bitch, right? Let me tell you how God works, though. So she told a nigga mad different shit about me. He calls me. He lets me know. She's telling him about my security system, the code for my security system, all different types of shit, right? So I kicked the bitch out. Probably like two weeks later, niggas break in my crib. But niggas don't steal anything. Niggas, niggas come. And I, I had mad shit laying around because this is when I was scamming. You feel me? So I had mad bags laying around, money, all types of shit laying around. They ain't take nothing. I'm in the street. You feel me? So I feel when a nigga don't come to kill, like come to, come to steal, they come to kill, right? Why the fuck would I be talking about Cardi? Cardi's my friend to this day. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, so, um, the bitch, the bitch, I feel like the bitch locked my crib. You feel me? They came in, they ain't still nothing. I've told myself, like, yo, when I see this bitch, I'm gonna beat this bitch up. Because now, I don't even, like, 
have that type of love for her no more. So I went to a shelter today. I went to three shelters. I didn't promote it. I didn't brag about it. I didn't do none of that because I wasn't there for that. You feel me? I was there to give away. So why I went to a women's shelter, a family shelter, and a men's shelter. So why at the family shelter, look who I see. Look who I see. I see this bitch. Look how God works. Look the fuck how God works. The same bitch who was sitting here trying to hold you down, trying to make sure you good, you know, feeding you and your kid, making sure you have a roof over your head, jumped the nigga who beat you, who bust your head open, done took a trespassing and assault charge for doing that to your nigga, and now you in a shelter. After you tried to line my crib, after you tried to line me, look how the fuck God works, bitch. So... You know me. <laughs> I'm waiting. You feel me? I'm waiting. I'm like, you know what? After the after I finish giving this time, I'm going to beat shorty up. She with two girls. I don't even care about all that. You feel me? Because them bitches jump in. I'm cutting your face open. Period. You feel me? Don't even care. So, afterwards, she didn't even come get a plate. She was so embarrassed in her phone and stuff like that. Like, she didn't even come get a plate. She just left out. So, I'm thinking maybe, you know, she's going to try to act tough because she with her friends. And they're going to see me afterwards. I went out there. They wasn't there. Whatever. I'm definitely not an Aries. I'm a Pisces, though. But, um, I was just like, damn, like, like, I felt bad, but then I ain't feel bad. You know, because it's like, look how God works, bitch. Like, you really try to line my crib. Like, no, you didn't try. You really line my crib, bro. You really had niggas breaking my crib. You really was trying to get me killed. And look where the fuck you at. In a family shelter, bro. Like, look where you at. It's cool. That's how God works. And I was, I was, and I still was feeling bad. Like, I still was like, damn, like, you know, like, and then I had to snap myself out a little bit. Like, saw fuck out of here. Don't, ain't no damn, you feel me? Like, that bitch really, that bitch was really coming for you. Like, she really coming for you. But all right, that's my story. <sighs> right, Dada? Look how God works. And it's like, you know, it's some people who go to shelters because it's the easy way to, you know, get certain cribs and shit like that. I could look at, I was looking at, I could tell, like, you feel me? Like, she really ain't have it. She really ain't have it. And it's like, damn, I was really, I really was giving it all to you. Like, I was really, I gave it all. Like, I was, I was willing to give it all. And you was willing to lie me. That's crazy. But it's cool. Bitch. Look how God works. <laughs>